Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to The Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload your map and then also how to update the map once it's been uploaded to the workshop. So to start us off, we're actually not going to be in the editor till just the very end. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to your Unturned folder, which is what I have open here, and you're going to want to go to your Maps folder. At this point, you're going to want to find the map that you're going to be uploading to the workshop. In this case, I'm going to be using La Romaine here. So what you're going to want to do initially is actually copy that entire folder and then move it to some other location. I'm going to be using the map backup folder. This is a folder I created. And so this is just sort of an area where I keep backups of my maps. And wherever you're at, make a new folder as well. And I'm going to name it La Romaine Upload. Now, you're gonna to wanna to place your map inside of this folder. And the important thing here is that this folder is completely empty except for your map and your map files. All right, so at this point, you also wanna make some sort of uh, cover photo for your map. I've got a cover photo. This will essentially be the main photo on the Steam Workshop for the map. So this one fits the bill. It's also a JPG. The two supported formats are JPG and PNG. So if you're having trouble getting below that one meg threshold, you might wanna use JPG because they generally have a bit smaller save sizes. All right, so once we have this set up, uh, we're pretty much ready to begin uploading the map. And so at this point, we will launch Unturned and we'll start working from there. All right, now that we're in the game, all we have to do is go to the workshop section and then hit the submit button. And this is where you're gonna see a, a form that you'll essentially just have to fill out in order to upload the map. So there are a few required things here. The name is required, the collection path is required, and the preview image is required. The rest is actually optional, but if you do want to add it, you can. So for this, we're going to do La Romaine Alpha, and I'm not really going to add a description. The nice thing about the description is you can uh, edit it once you upload it. You can access it on the workshop, and you can actually change this to whatever you want. So really, the description is not important. In terms of the collection path, this is very important. So we're going to go to the folder that we set up before, and this is the La Romaine Upload folder with my map inside of it. And what you're going to want to do is copy the path to that folder. Folder. A good way of doing that is going up here if you're on Windows and clicking on there and then hitting Control C or just copying it like that. And then you're going to want to paste it with Control V into this location. Also, place a forward slash at the very end. In terms of the preview image, it is important that uh, the preview image is under one megabyte, otherwise it's gonna throw you some errors. So we gotta go back to the desktop where we saved this before. And a good way to find the path for this is by right clicking it, going to the properties and under the general tab, you should see a location. And so the location is C and then this sort of thing. So you're gonna wanna copy that and you're gonna wanna paste that in there. Then after that, you're going to put a forward slash and then the name of the picture. And then you also need to make sure that you specify the file extension name. So in this case, it's a JPG. If it's a PNG, do .png. All right. So that's pretty much all we need in terms of the necessaries. And lastly, we've got a couple buttons down here and most of them are sort of toggle. So this button right here controls what type of item you're uploading. If it's a map, you got a couple options over here. You can do survival, horde, or arena. Obviously, depending on what it is, it's gonna be a little bit different for objects, items, vehicles. There's all sorts of options there. Depending on what you're uploading, you'll change that accordingly. Also over here, you've got public, friends only, and private. That'll control the publicity of the map. For me, I'm gonna do friends only for this alpha. And also right here, we've got ready to use or curated. So if you want the item to potentially be curated, you'd upload it with this setting. Otherwise, you're gonna be using ready to use. So once you have all your settings in there, everything should be fine. You're gonna hit the create button. All right, so once you hit this button, it should go to this blank screen and it seems like it may be broken. Essentially what it's doing is just submitting the map. And so this is normal and this is should be what happens. So once you have the map uploaded, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can, it's up there depending on your settings. It'll be like friends only, public, private. As you guys can see, it put the cover photo there as well. And um, from this point, we could uh, edit some of the things over here. We can edit the title and description. As I mentioned before, we didn't have to upload it with the description because we could edit it afterwards. And so of course, if I wanted to do that, we could do that. But yeah, essentially that's all that goes into actually uploading it initially. So let's say we want to update the map and then maybe upload it again. This is essentially how you do that. So the only thing we really need to do to re-upload this map is to essentially just grab a new version of it. Obviously I haven't worked on it. I haven't changed it any, but that's completely fine. We don't really need to change it to re-upload it. So we're gonna go to the La Romaine Upload folder that I used before. 
This is our map from before. Um, really nothing has changed, but we're gonna copy the files into here like it has potentially changed. And so essentially we've just sort of added to this map. All right, so now that that's done, all we have to do is go back into Unturned. We actually have to open it back up. And uh, while you're at it, while you're starting it, you might want to copy this path again because we're going to be using that when we re-upload the map. All right, so now let's actually add to this map and maybe add another version to it. So we're going to go back to the submit page. All we really need to do is give this a new collection path. Once you've got um, the map initially uploaded, you don't need to add the name again. You don't need to add the preview image again or description or change note. You can add a new change note if you want. So you could do um, version maybe like 2.0 or whatnot and you pretty much don't have to worry with any of these settings as well all you really have to do is click back on this uh, loud remain alpha release which should have shown up when you've uploaded in the first time now once again it's waiting and it'll just upload that in the background and once it's uploaded it'll once again send you to this page and that's all that it takes to update your map once you've uploaded it all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video that pretty much covers all the basics pretty much everything you need to know um, once again things to keep in mind is when you're uploading this map you need to make sure that the upload folder is completely empty there needs to be nothing else in there except for the single map file also the cover photo or whatever you're using to upload with it you need to make sure that this thing is under one megabyte a good way to do that as I mentioned before is with the JPG file because they're generally a lot smaller you also might have to reduce the quality. So besides that, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys are interested in this map, La Romaine, it is one that we've been working on. I will have a link to a video sort of going over what it takes to get into the alpha because it is going to be a closed alpha for this map. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have a link below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.